Hey everybody, I'm here at Wade's Eastside, the birthplace of ASI with Adam Simone, who's running the program there these days. And we're here to chat with you about what kind of equipment you need to bring with you to shoot an ASI match. Uh, so Adam, what do you suggest people bring? Well, uh, first and foremost is going to be protective equipment, uh, and that's going to be the one thing you're going to find universal. Uh, some kind of protective eyewear. So, um, you know, we got clear ones, we got some amber ones. Uh, a consideration would be if you're shooting indoors, likely you're not going to want dark shaded lenses. Um, you want something clear or a lighter tint, blue, uh, amber. Is a conventional um, set of eyeglasses okay? Um, at our facility, yeah, as long as it's not actual glass. And most glasses nowadays are, are polycarbonate, the same as the protective eyewear. Um, so for us, the prescription lenses are fine. Uh, that being said, we do offer um, for sale, we have some overspec glasses that you can wear on top of if you want that additional side protection or on sure. top. Um, and I've seen people, you know, wear the old school chemistry goggles, and, and even that just to protect from hot brass. You know, you, you can't catch yeah, that brass between your true. eyes uh, and your and your frame. That's one of the reasons I'm always wearing a hat. Is that yeah, I was going to suggest that. As I know for a lot of people, wearing a hat is a kind of a, has an added safety factor to it. Yeah, them. it's just that 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 one extra barrier for uh, brass not getting between the frame, the lens, and, and I have caught brass up here before. It's less than pleasant. Right. Highly unlikely, but it, it, anything but it can happen. Okay. Um, how about hearing protection? Is there anything in particular they need to bring? You know, everyone's got a preference. Um, a lot of guys like the old school, the plugs, the yeah, phone plugs, like or yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, a lot of people like the, you know, the just the, the cans, the, the the big muffs, the over the ears. Right. Uh, a lot of popularity now. Uh, I know that I s myself use electronic muffs. They amplify ambient noise, so it's easier to hold a conversation. Um, or in my case, as a you know, as a safety officer, I can also hear what's going on around me. Uh, and a lot of people like to double up. They'll go plugs on the inside and the muffs on the outside, and you may have to shout to them when we're giving commands, and that's okay because at the end of the day, they're going to have. Probably better hearing than I. <laughs> okay. So as far as carrying your gun around when you're at an ASI match, I know a holster is, a, is optional. Mm -hmm. um, so what sort of, if they're not using a holster, can they put it in a bag? Yeah. How do, they, how do you want to have to carry it around? So if we're not going to be using a holster, um, for ease of use, a little clamshell bag like this, uh, you know, this is a, a bulldog, these really inexpensive, and I've seen some really nice ones that have space for your spare mags and all that, uh, but something that's easily portable. Okay. You know, if you got to lug up your whole range bag just to start the stage, and it's got your spare ammo, your spare mags, and all your other gear, uh, it's a little cumbersome. Whereas if someone's shooting with one of these, I can actually follow them with the bag. As soon as the stage is over, they're ready to go cold. It makes it a little easier, and no one's running around trying to find their stuff. Sure, that makes sense. Um, so for ease and, and portability, I would say one of these guys is really, really nice. Um, but it doesn't have to be a gun bag. No, no. A, a, any kind of vessel, really. Um, probably some better than others, you know, a plastic grocery bag. Probably, probably not, not a great choice. idea. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't have to be a dedicated gun bag. Um, just something that's going to stow the firearm and, and be closed. Okay. Closable, secure. Oh, very good. Um, um, if they want to wear a holster, are there any particular holster rules? So for us, uh, as far as holsters are concerned, we're going to require at least a hybrid, meaning, uh, much like this guy, we've got leather, which forms the body very comfortable, mm -hmm. but we've got that rigid kydex on the outside which is going to give you really strong trigger protection. It's going to keep anything from getting in that trigger guard. That's a, but that's a, that's a Wade-ism, if I remember correctly. That's not written into the ASI rules? Correct. All right. Yeah. So, that, so the ASI rules don't have any particular holster rules, if right. I remember correctly. Right. Other than covering the trigger guard. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So. so for us, we're looking for some level of rigidity, uh, at least on the outside. Oh, sure. So something, something that's a fairly inexpensive holster. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just as long as it's got the trigger guard covered. Got the trigger guard covered, okay. and, you know, it it, uh, it works. You know, um, I've seen holsters before that were a little more competitively designed, and they kind of can't the firearm in, mm -hmm. which, I, you know, gives it a real easy draw stroke, but that's going to be... Pointing kind of at the yeah, leg. We don't want that. Not yeah. really. We don't really want that here. Um, something simple and you know something comfortable. If it's not comfortable, it's not going to work well for the individual. Indeed. Okay. So eye and ear protection, number one. Uh, something to carry the gun around in. Mm -hmm. 
Doug could be a holster, could be a bag. Yeah, yeah. And a hat, ideally. I, I'm a big fan of the hat. Uh, okay, certainly not a requirement, but uh, most of my staff wears hats, and, and I always wear a hat now. I never did before I started this job. One of the ones I'll throw into that is I've noticed for women, when they, when they often show up at these events, sometimes they'll wear what they would normally wear on the street, which may have a, a, an, open, an open front to it. And with the hot casings coming out of the gun, you know, he's, you're mostly concerned with keeping them out of your eyes, which is a huge deal. Right. But for women, occasionally they'll end up with them in the bra. And I, that, as you can imagine, turns into a very unsafe situation very quickly without going into any of the gory details. Right. So I would say, you know, closed shirt, yeah. hat, eyes and ears, yeah. and something to carry your gun around. Absolutely. Okay. That's great. Thanks, Adam. Yep. So, Adam, we've covered uh, carrying the gun around, uh, but how about your, your, mag your extra magazines and ammunition? It's, uh, it's a consideration. Um, you know, especially we, we do reloads every match. I can't think of a match where we haven't done reloads on at least one stage. Um, and one of the things that so guides you're us about, You're that, talking about reloading with the timer running. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so during the course of fire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so um, one of the things that kind of guides us on that is, you know, anything uh, eight rounds or more, we throw a reload in there. And so we do a lot of reloads, and again, like you said, on the clock. Um, so expediency is a good thing. Um, where there's no requirement to have a magazine carrier, um, it's a good idea. It really makes it a lot faster when that magazine is on your hip and it's easily accessible, ready to go, versus fishing in your versus pocket. Versus fishing it out of your 501. Um, yeah. This one, I think, is a blade tech. It's yes, a fairly inexpensive um, and injection molded. Mm -hmm. And they, they're fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've used these as a Galco, Galco double, double bank dodge for years and been very pleased with them. Yeah. Um, and this is a, a comparable one. I can't remember which brand name that is, but it's just a it's just a pouch that holds your two mags. You're only going to need an ASI. You're only typically going to need two mags. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of these like this, and you're you're good to go. Yeah. Right. Okay.